My name is Tim McMahon. I spent two years researching and writing Healthy Tongue Secrets. And today, I'd like to share something with you. In ancient times, a doctor would use your tongue as a diagnostic tool. The first thing they would do is ask you to stick out your tongue. They believed that the condition of your tongue was the primary indicator of your health. But since the advent of modern diagnostic equipment, doctors have gotten away from this natural indicator and rely more on expensive high-tech tests. Today, the only time a doctor asks you to stick out your tongue is if he wants to see if you have strep throat. Does that mean that your tongue doesn't indicate the condition of your system? No, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, some doctors are finding that your tongue is actually a more sensitive and accurate indicator than many modern tests are. Recently, Dr. Oz even had a show dedicated to tongues. Of course, being the consummate showman, he had an audience member put on rubber gloves and pull a tongue out of a jar. So go ahead and grab a tongue. You see how large it is in there? <laughs> and he showed some pictures of some really nasty looking tongues. And audience members made faces. and looked at their tongues, but he did provide one tidbit of useful information. The tongue is unique to everybody. It's like a fingerprint for us. It teaches us all about the subtleties of our health. Did you catch that? He said, the tongue is unique to everybody. It is like a fingerprint. It shows us all about the subtleties of our health. That means your tongue can be used to spot subtle health issues, primarily deficiencies. But also who we are, it's determined by our genes. Now there are three things that your tongue can teach you, okay? If your tongue is white and pale, like this picture, it's anemia. See how it's pale? Anemia happens because of iron deficiency, vitamin B, deficiency, especially B12. And so anemia will often manifest itself because you don't have enough oxygen carrying cells in the body. Those red blood cells are missing because you couldn't make them because you didn't have nutrients to make them. So you, these tissues turn pale. So here we see that even mainstream doctors agree that your tongue can be an indicator of your overall health. Another well-respected doctor named Dr. Brownstein has written several books on health and publishes a monthly health newsletter. Dr. Brownstein has written extensively on thyroid issues, finding that most Americans are deficient in key nutrients that promote thyroid health. This may be one reason that Americans have weight issues, since your thyroid helps regulate your metabolism. But even Dr. Brownstein points to your tongue as an indicator of your health. Dr. Brownstein talks about tongue swelling, which is really related to beefy enlarged tongue, or in Dr. E's, macroglossia. It's also scalloped tongue and uh, tongues with tooth marks around the edges. Actually, all three of these items are really the same condition. So, let's listen to what Dr. Brownstein has to say about this. with their tongue swelling and what you can see is on the outer edges of the tongue there's little grooves in that where the tongue is banging into the teeth because it's too big for the mouth many times patients will tell me that their tongue feels too big for their mouth and they're tripping over it as they're trying to talk all this goes away when you treat them appropriately with thyroid hormone the major deficiency related to thyroid is iodine so boosting iodine can often help a beefy scalp tongue some people with severe thyroid problems require a synthetic thyroid hormone that can be taken as a small pill. For more information on thyroid problems, you may want to check out 
Dr. Brownstein's books. The key to remember is your tongue is an indicator of your overall health. Trying to treat it as a separate disease is short-sighted and won't work in the long run. For instance, if you have a pale tongue due to anemia, you wouldn't think that swishing some red dye around in your mouth was going to solve your problem, would you? Yes, your tongue would no longer be pale, but you'd still be anemic, right? In the same way, if you have a beefy enlarged tongue, you need to address the weak thyroid issue through either iodine supplements or thyroid hormone. Don't just treat the symptom. Get to the underlying cause. In the same way, if you have geographic tongue, you need to address the underlying cause. Geographic tongue, in my experience, is not a disease. It is a symptom just like beefy scallop tongue or a pale anemic tongue. And the amazing thing is, when you stop treating the symptoms and get to the underlying cause, geographic tongue goes away. Of course, just like anemia, geographic tongue can come back if the underlying condition comes back. But that is actually a good thing because it reminds you that you need to take care of yourself and not just let yourself go. So today we learned three things. One, treat your tongue like the health meter of your body. It's just a symptom. It's not the real problem. Don't stress about your tongue. Use it to help track down the underlying problem. Once you find it, your tongue will take care of itself so fast you'll be absolutely amazed. By the way, if you'd like some help tracking down your specific underlying problem, see pages 110 through 138 in my Healthy Tongue Secrets ebook, which contains a list of vitamins and their associated deficiency symptoms. In it, you can look for specific things like dry skin, ridges on the fingernails, fatigue, insomnia, light sensitivity, depression, hair loss, headaches, eczema, and hundreds of other things, and find the specific vitamin or mineral that you may be lacking. Now, back to the things we learned today. The second thing we learned today is one of the major causes of a pale tongue is anemia. It is a nutritional problem that can often be treated with iron and or B12 supplements. The third thing we learned today is one of the major causes of a beefy scallop tongue is thyroid issues. It's often a nutritional problem that is an iodine deficiency, but in more serious cases it can be a hormonal deficiency because of an underlying problem with the thyroid. Best wishes in tracking down the cause of your specific tongue problem. This has been Tim McMahon, author of Healthy Tongue Secrets. Thanks for listening. I hope you found it helpful. Of course, if you'd like to get a copy of all the tools in the Healthy Tongue Secrets ebook, you can go to healthytonguesecrets.com slash geographic dash tongue. See you next time. Bye.